Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I device help here, and today I wanted to share with you guys how to install Siri in iOS 6. Now, this does support the iPhone 4, iPhone 3, GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation, which is the device that I'm going to be using in this video. Now, before we begin, make sure that you, if you're going to be trying this, you try it on a device that you don't use every day, that is your, uh, you know, a device that you have fun with installing things of this nature, because this is in beta, and of course, this is something that is not authorized by Apple, so anything could go wrong. I mean, I do test every single uh, software that I install before I put it on video for you guys, but no software is perfect and something could go wrong, so make sure sure you don't install this on your primary device if you want to um, try it yourself. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show you how to install Siri in iOS 6. Of course, you must be jailbroken in order to access this uh, packages. Uh, if you don't know how to jailbreak, I have a Tether jailbreak for iOS 6. I'll have the link down below. Make sure you check out that video if you haven't jailbroken yet. And then you can jump right back into this video and launch the application Cydia. Once we're on Cydia, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and go ahead to the Manage tab down here. And we're going to add a source by hitting Edit and Add. And the source that you need to add there also will be in the video description, so it's very important that you read it. It's this one right here. Go ahead and tap into it and scroll down to the S. Because we're going to install Spire 6.0. Let's go ahead and find Spire here. Or Spite. Excuse me. Spite 6.0. There it is. As you can see there it says beta warning because it is a beta software. Uh, go ahead and install that. And then go ahead and click here on the top. Go through the installation process. And it will ask your device to respring. It won't ask it to reboot. So if you're on a tether jailbreak, you don't have to run a boot tether. If for some reason you run into any issues, uh, for those of you that know how to run a boot tether, uh, that, that also will be in my video on how to jailbreak, which I'll have in the link down below. If for any reason you reboot, make sure you just do a boot tether and you'll be fine. You'll be back in iOS 6 running good. So, alright, back to the video. Um, once you do that, Siri should be fully uh, installed on your device. Uh, if you go here into Generals, you don't get a toggle here to uh, switch Siri on and off for some reason. As you can see, there are no toggle, again, because it is in beta, but I wanted to let you guys know you guys have been asking me how to do this. Uh, so go ahead and hit the button here. As you can see, there Siri pops up. Uh, and for all my followers here on YouTube, uh, the Siri keys are not working in iOS 6 for some reason. Once I figure that out, I'll have a video for you guys. And uh, I haven't found a Siri proxy server to use as well. So if anybody knows of a proxy server, please leave a comment down below for all the iDevice community to enjoy a proxy server if you do know of one. Uh, if I do find one, I'll make sure I let you guys know as well. So make sure you guys click that like button if, you, if this video helped you out and if you did appreciate it. Uh, I do help, it does help me out a lot and I do appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment down below if anything. And also make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All the links will be down below, including the source that you need to add Siri. Uh, and make sure you stay up to date with the latest information on iOS devices by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. It's been iDevice, and I will catch you guys real soon. Peace.